Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet this size crocodile. When crocheted using 8 ply and a 3mm hook, this one, the size is 18cm by 10cm or 7 inches by 4 inches. This medium crocodile crocheted using 4 ply crochet cotton and a 1.5mm hook is 11.5 centimetres by 6.5 centimetres or 4.5 inches by 2.5 inches and this small crocodile crocheted using 2 ply crochet cotton and a 1 millimetre hook is 9 centimetres by 6 centimetres or 3.5 inches by 2.25 inches. I'll be using 4 ply crochet cotton. I've got green for my main colour, pink for the mouth and black and white for the eyes. I only need a tiny bit of black and white. I've got a darning needle to weave in the ends, a 1.5mm crochet hook, scissors and a sewing needle and thread to stitch the crocodile together. Now I'm going to start at the tip of the tail, work down the tail and along to the mouth and then I'll work the bottom part of the mouth first that will all be in one piece. So I've got my green, my main colour, and I start with a magic loop. There's lots of ways to make a magic loop, but I like to put my hook on my yarn and bring the short end over the long end and take the long end over the short end to make a circle. Then put the yarn around the hook and bring the hook with my yarn at the end through the circle. And there's my magic loop. For row 1 I work 2 chain and work one half double crochet into my circle. A half double crochet is called a half treble using UK terms. For a half double crochet put the yarn around the hook, hook in through the circle and then bring back a loop. Yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through all the loops and then we pull the circle tight. For row 2 we start with 2 chain and turn our work and we're going to work 2 half double crochet into our stitch. For row 3 we start with 1 chain and turn our work. We're going to work 2 single crochet into the first stitch. A single crochet is a double crochet using UK terms. For a single crochet put your hook into the first stitch, bring through a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through both loops. We need one more single crochet into that same stitch and one single crochet into the next stitch. For row 4, we start with one chain and turn our work. We're going to work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. For a joined single crochet, put your hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop. Hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. We've got three loops on our hook, then yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through the three loops. Then we're going to work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 5 we start with one chain and turn our work. We're going to work one single crochet and one half double crochet into the first stitch. So a single crochet and a half double crochet into that first stitch. And then we're going to work a joined double crochet over the last two stitches. 
A joined double crochet would be a joined treble using UK terms. So we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring through a loop. Yarn around the hook, take the hook with this yarn at the end through two loops. We've got two loops left on our, our hook. Then yarn around the hook, hook into the last stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn through two loops. We've got three loops left. Yarn around the hook, take the hook with the yarn through the remaining loops. Now this is just bending our work in. For row 6 we're going to start with 3 chain and turn. We're going to work a join double crochet over the first two stitches. So the same as we did at the end of the last row. And then in, into our last stitch we work one half double crochet and one single crochet. For row 7 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet and one half double crochet into the first stitch. So a single crochet and a half double crochet into this first stitch. And then we work a joined double crochet over the last two stitches. For row 8 we start with 3 chain and turn our work. We work a joined double crochet over the first two stitches. And then work one half double crochet and one single crochet into the last stitch. For row 9 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet and one half double crochet into the first stitch. And then a joined double crochet over the last two stitches. And for row 10 we start with 3 chain and turn our work. We work a join double crochet over the first two stitches. One half double crochet and one single crochet into the last stitch. And I've got a good bend on my tail. When I do the neatening row it will bend out a bit more. Won't be quite so bendy. For row 11 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our three stitches. For row 12 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch. For row 13 we start with one chain and turn. We work 
one single crochet into each of the first two stitches and then work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 14 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our four stitches. And that's the tail part done. Now we start with three chain and turn. We work one double crochet in the first stitch. A double crochet is a treble using UK terms. For a double crochet put the yarn around the hook, hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook, take the hook with this yarn at the end through two loops, then yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through the remaining two loops. Then work one half double crochet into the next stitch. And work one single crochet into each of the last two stitches. For row 16 we start with one chain and turn, we work two single crochet into the first stitch one single crochet into the next stitch one half double crochet into the following stitch and two double crochet into the last stitch. And we've got six stitches. For row 17 we start with three chain and turn our work we work two double crochet into the first stitch. One half double crochet into the next stitch. And then we work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. We'll have seven stitches. For row 18 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. I worked five single crochet and then work one half double crochet into the next stitch and then two double crochet into the last stitch. For row 19 we start with three chain and turn, work one double crochet into the first stitch, one 
a half double crochet into the next stitch and then one single crochet into each stitch to the end we'll have eight stitches For row 20 we start with one chain and turn, we work two single crochet into the first stitch. Then we work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches, we'll work one half double crochet into the second last stitch and a double crochet into the last stitch we'll have nine stitches. So after our two single crochet, one single crochet into each stitch till we have two stitches left. And then into the second last stitch work one half double crochet and then a double crochet into the last stitch. For row 21 we start with 3 chain and turn, work 1 double crochet into the first stitch a half double crochet into the next stitch then one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch we'll work two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have ten stitches so one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 22 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each of the first seven stitches. one half double crochet into the next stitch and then one double crochet into each of the last two stitches we've got ten stitches For row 23 we start with 3 chain and turn, we work 1 double crochet into the first stitch, 1 half double crochet into the next stitch, one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch we'll work two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 11 stitches so after a double crochet and half double crochet one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch
and work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 24 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each of the first seven stitches. We should have four stitches left. Then we work one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. And one double crochet into each of the last two stitches. For row 25 we start with 3 chain and turn. We're going to work a join double crochet over the first two stitches. For a join double crochet put the yarn around the hook, hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. Then yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook, take the hook with the yarn through two loops. We've got three loops left on our hook. Yarn around the hook, take the hook with this yarn at the end through the remaining loops. Then we work one half double crochet into the next stitch and one single crochet into each stitch to the end. We'll have ten stitches. For row 26 we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch. And then one single crochet into each stitch till we have four stitches left. Then we work one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. And a join double crochet over the last two stitches. For row 27 we start with 3 chain and turn. We work a join double crochet over the first two stitches. One half double crochet into each of the following two stitches. One single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. And two single crochet into the last stitch. We have ten stitches.
For bow 28 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each of the first five stitches. One half double crochet into each stitch till we have two stitches left. I work three half double crochet and then work a join double crochet over the last two stitches. For row 29, we start with 3 chain and turn, work a join double crochet over the first 2 stitches. One half double crochet into each of the next 2 stitches. And one single crochet into each stitch to the end will have eight stitches. And for row thirty, we start with one chain and turn, and we work one single crochet into each of our weight stitches. Now that's the body. We'll start on the bottom part of the mouth now. So for row one of the mouth, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the first four stitches. For row 2, we start with 1 chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first 2 stitches. One single crochet into the next stitch and 2 single crochet into the last stitch. For row 3 we start with 1 chain and turn. We work 1 single crochet into each of the first 2 stitches and a join single crochet over the last 2 stitches. For row 4 we start with 1 chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and one single crochet into the last stitch. For row 5 we start with one chain and turn and work a single crochet into each of our two stitches. For row 6 we start with 1 chain and turn and work a joined single crochet over the 2 stitches. For 
For row 7, we start with 1 chain and turn and work a single crochet into the stitch. For row 8, we start with 1 chain and turn and work a single crochet into the stitch. And for nine, row 9, 1 chain and turn and work a single crochet into our stitch. And for row 10, 1 chain and turn and work a single crochet into the stitch. And fasten off. And that's a body with the bottom part of the mouth done. I'll weave in the ends. This is the right side, so I'll weave them in at the back. And then I'll be back and I'll do the top part of the mouth. Now for the top of the mouth, I join my cotton in the same stitch as our last stitch of the bottom. So that stitch in there. And then I work one single crochet into each of the remaining four stitches. For bow two, I start with one chain and turn and I work one single crochet into each of the first three stitches. For row three I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of my three stitches. For row four, I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch. For row 5, I start with 1 chain and turn. I work a joined single crochet over the first 2 stitches. And I work 2 single crochet into the last stitch. For row 6, I start with 1 chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the three stitches. For row seven, I start with one chain and turn. I work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and one single crochet into the last stitch. For row 8, I start with 1 chain and turn and work a joined single crochet over the 2 stitches. And then I work 4 rows of 1 chain and turn and 1 single crochet into the stitch. So I need 3 more rows of 1 chain and turn and 1 single crochet into the stitch. And I fasten off.
and that's the body and mouth done. I'll just weave in these ends and then I'll be back with my pink and I'll work the mouth. Now for this pink part of the mouth I join my pink just at the end of the bottom part of the mouth. So in there and work one chain I work one single crochet in that same stitch as a chain and then a single crochet into each of the next two stitches and then I work a slip stitch into the next stitch for a slip stitch I put my hook into the stitch bring through a loop and take it straight through the loop on the hook. Then I work a single crochet into the next stitch, then a half double crochet into each of the following two stitches. A single crochet into the next stitch and then one half double crochet into each stitch until the last stitch before the join. And then I work two half double crochet into that last stitch. And pass them off. Now I'll just weave in that end and when I'm weaving it in, I attach it to the back of the mouth, the top of the mouth, and depending on how far open you want the mouth will depend on how far you pull it in. So I'll weave in those ends and then I'll be back with my green to do a neatening row. Now for the neatening row, I join my green just at the bottom of the mouth there. So in about there and work one chain. I work one single crochet in the same stitch as a chain and a single crochet into the next stitch. Now I'm going to be doing a little bit of shaping around the mouth and up to the eye. Into the next stitch I work one half double crochet and then one single crochet into each of the following two stitches. A slip stitch into the next stitch and then one single crochet into each of the next two stitches. Now I'm going to work one slip stitch into each stitch till I get to the pink.
and once I get to the pink I'm going to work a slip stitch into each stitch but into the back loop only. So this loop here, one slip stitch, that back loop. And then work one slip stitch into each of the first three stitches on the top of the mouth. And that's the shaping so far. Next we're going to work two single crochet into the next stitch and a slip stitch into the following stitch and then two single crochet into the next stitch and slip stitch into the following stitch. Now I'm going to work one slip stitch into each stitch to just around the corner of the mouth. And then work two single crochet into the next stitch. And then work a slip stitch into each stitch until just at the top of the pink part of the mouth. So a slip stitch into that stitch and then we'll do the shaping for this eye part. So I'm working some slip stitches along the top until I get to the top of the pink part of the mouth. Now that's the shaping for round the mouth. Now for this eye part, into the next stitch I work one single crochet and one half double crochet. Into the following stitch I work two double crochet. And then I work a half double crochet and a single crochet into the next stitch. And that's the eye part done. And then I'm going to work a slip stitch into each stitch around to the join there. 
Now you can work some join slip stitches if you want to pull your tail in a bit more. So just continue working a slip stitch into the stitches like that. So I'll continue until I get back just near the join and I'll meet you there. Now when we get back to the beginning of the row we work a slip stitch in the first stitch and fasten off. And that's the crocodile's body done. For this eye part, just behind that other eye part, using my green I make a magic loop. I work one chain and I work seven half double crochet into my circle. I pull the circle tight and I join with a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch and fasten off. And that's the eye part for the back eye. For this front leg, using my green, I work three chain. I miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each of the two remaining chain. For row two, I start with one chain and turn, and I work two single crochet into each of my two stitches. So I'll have four stitches. For row three, I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the four stitches. And then I work four chain. For row 4, I miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each of the remaining three chain. And then I work one single crochet into each of the four stitches from the last row. For row 5, I start with 1 chain and turn. I work a joined single crochet over the first 2 stitches. 1 single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch.
and work two single crochet into the last stitch. Now I'm going to do a neatening row around there back to the row and then I'm going to work the toes along the bottom. So I start with one chain and I'm going to work one single crochet into each stitch up that side along the top and then down the other side. Now along the bottom I'm going to work two joined single crochets and then I should have three stitches left to work my toes into. So two joined single crochets. One into the first two stitches and then one into the next two stitches. I've got three stitches left, so slip stitch into the next stitch and for the first toe work two chain, one half double crochet into that same stitch, then two chain, slip stitch into the same stitch and then slip stitch into the next stitch and the second toe will be worked the same. Two chain, one half double crochet into that same stitch, two chain, slip stitch into the same stitch and then slip stitch into the next stitch and work the third toe the same. Two chain, a half double crochet into the same stitch, two chain, slip stitch into the same stitch and fasten off. And that's the front leg done. For this back leg Using our green we work three chain We miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each of the two remaining chain For row two we start with one chain and turn and work two single crochet into each stitch. We'll have four stitches.
For bow three, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our four stitches. For bow four, we start with one chain and turn and work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. We've got two stitches. For bow five, we start with two chain and turn. We're starting on the toes now. We work one half double crochet in the first stitch, then two chain and slip stitch in that same stitch, then work two chain, work one half double crochet in that same stitch, work two chain and slip stitch in the same stitch. We've got two toes in that stitch then slip stitch into the next stitch, work two chain, one half double crochet into the stitch, work two chain and slip stitch into the same stitch. Now that's the back leg done except for a neatening row. For the neatening row we're going to work one single crochet into each stitch up around the curve back to the toe. So a single crochet into each stitch. And then I slip stitch into the bottom of the first toe and fasten off. And that's the back leg done. For this far back leg, we start with three chain. We miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each remaining chain. For row two we start with one chain and turn and work two single crochet into each of our two stitches. For bow three we start with one chain and turn and work a single crochet into each of our four stitches. And that's the far back leg done except for a neatening row. For the neatening row we start with one chain and work one single crochet into each stitch right round our work.
slip stitch in the top of the first stitch and fasten off. And that's the far back leg done. I'll be back with my white and my back and we'll work these eye pieces. For the outer eye, using my white, I make a magic loop. and work one chain and I work five half double crochet into my circle I pull the circle tight and join with a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. And fasten off. And that's the outer eye done. For the inner eye, using my black, I make a magic loop. and work one chain and three single crochet into my circle. I pull the circle tight and slip stitch in the top of the first stitch and fasten off. And I've got a tiny black circle. Now I'll just weave in my ends and I'll be back and we'll put it together. Now there's all the pieces. I've got the body, the outer eye, the inner eye, the back eye, the back leg, the far back leg and the front leg. The first things I'll do is stitch the inner eye to the outer eye. It goes against the edge on one side and points back. And I'll also attach the front leg to the body. It goes in about there. Next, I stitch the eye into that space there for the eye and I'll attach the back leg in about there. The last things I'll do is attach the back eye. It just slips in beside the eye, just in about there, slightly lower than the eye part. And this far back leg just goes in next to the tail, just sticking up slightly, just in like that. So I'll stitch those on and I'll be back to show you the finished crocodile. And there's the finished crocodile. If you've liked my video, please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. The details are in the description below, along with the details of my website, where I have my patterns, the details of my Patreon and the details of my Facebook group. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.